KGUN 9 on your side weather with meteorologist Aaron Brackett. Welcome to your Saturday evening. Very nice out there. Lots of stars. A couple clouds for some people, though. But we're talking a hot start to the week here as a dome of high pressure sits over our area once again. You know, this has been the theme recurring over and over again. We see that jet stream setting up and the hot air just staying in place. Well, we're seeing it yet again. And I went back through the records. We were kind of talking here in the studio earlier. You know, it's been a while since it's rained. It has been 51 days since we've had measurable precip here in Tucson. So a long time, but I have to to tell you there is rain in the seven day forecast. You hang on, we'll get to that in a second. 82 degrees today in Tucson, 72 Wilcox. We saw the 60s off to the north, four highs earlier. Now we see the 40s in Sholo and some upper 50s throughout Cochise County, lower 50s across the border, and still 67 here in Tucson. Dew points hanging in the middle 30s generally for most folks right now. You see some upper 30s here or there, not really going to matter. We just don't have the dynamics for any rainfall at this time. That will come though. Look at the cool air bottled up off to the North Flagstaff. One degree from freezing right now. You see 43 as we mentioned in Sholo and New Mexico. Portions of at least are rel relatively chilly right now. Uh, relatively unchanged is the status here as we look at our temperature change map, except on the coast right here. Medford, 10 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. Same thing with San Francisco, 7 degrees warmer, and that increase will actually pull closer to our area, expecting a warmer day for your Sunday. So there's the clouds that move through right towards sunset. Those now along the border off to our south. We could see a couple more build in through the next couple hours as we see just a very slight impulse coming through here on the water vapor in between Kingman, Phoenix and Yuma. That triangle right there. We'll watch this pull overhead and we'll still call it a partly cloudy to mostly clear sky tonight. Here's Futurecast now. It's showing most of the clouds hanging off to the northwest, but I do see some of those making their way into Pima County, possibly. And then as we look toward your Monday morning, uh, pretty much uh, clear skies. We'll go back to sunshine through the first part of the week before those changes really do come in place. So here we go. A big dip in the jet stream toward next weekend. An area of low pressure coming through as well. It's going to cool our temperatures. That's an almost certainty, but we're going to see how much moisture we can get out of this thing. And right now, I've got a 30% chance of rain showers over southern Arizona. We're going to watch out for that. Even on our GFS computer model, our long range model has been hinting at this time after time after time. When you get that, it's a real good likelihood that's going to happen. You don't even need to know what these lines mean. You can see the dip right there pulling down that cool northerly air. So this is what we'll watch for. Tonight, 46 in Oracle, 54 Marana, your overnight low temperature, 48 Sierra Vista, and elsewhere we see 46 in Bisbee and it's almost in the 30s for you in Douglas. How about Tucson? We head down to 50. 53 tonight with partly cloudy skies across the city anywhere from 50 to 54 degrees. Those winds will stay on the lights and variable side tomorrow. A little bit warmer 86 degrees warming up yet again. Those winds will be rather light up to 10 miles per hour. Here's a seven day planner. You see the temperatures going up as we go Monday and Tuesday upper 80s. Record territory is actually right around 90 and then the other side of the roller coaster. We head down that hill Friday and Saturday. Mid 70s Friday, then lower 70s Saturday. That comes with a 30% chance of rain. Overnight lows into the 40s as well, and highs on Mount Lemon into the upper 40s toward the weekend. Nine your side at 10. We'll be right back with sports after this.